Excellent. Okay, so classifying. Up to now, you guys have been panning unclassified material, and for the rest of today, you will be too, because you haven't built your classifiers yet. But I want to talk a little bit about classifying, why we do it, how we do it, and when you do it at different degrees. If you remember what I said in class, that I use different classifiers for different purposes. If I go to, say, Bear Creek, where I know you can find nuggets, I will go for a bigger classifier. So I get a chance of those, if I do find one of those nuggets, it will go through. If I go to something like Japania Creek, where the gold is fine, 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 I'll go for a smaller classifier. Now, classifying is usually done underwater. You usually get it wet and go underwater and classify in the water, but not always. Rock in here. Not always. Actually, some of the places I go to where in the summer where the gravel is really loose and dry, I can classify dry. And classifying dry is way quicker and way easier, and you don't have to carry all that extra material down to the creek. But actually, it's very seldom you can classify dry because even the smallest amount of moisture in the sand and it won't work. If you have perfectly dry stuff that's nice and loose, it's really easy to classify. So I got this pan full of stuff here, nice and dry, very loose, nothing clumped together, no clay balls or dirt. I put it in the classifier and it goes right through. Oops. It's done. The stuff here doesn't have any dirt attached to it. There's no chance of a, of a gold flake being stuck to one of those rocks. Classifying dry is great if you can find the right situation where you can do it. Out on Mission Creek when I pan there, in the middle of summer when it's hot, I classify dry. If I was trying that with dirt that had a bit of moisture in it, It takes longer, it does go through, but I get things like dirt balls that haven't gone through, I get rocks that have dirt all around it, and I get even uh, a couple of rocks sort of concreted together. And actually gold flakes being thin and flat will stick onto a rock easily with even a little bit of moisture in there. I have classified wet material like this without being underwater, panned this out, and then thrown this stuff in a pan, and panned it out, and found lots of gold in what I would have chucked away. So really, material that is damp, or has some moist moisture in it, needs to go in and classified wet. Down in the water here, classify it wet, and then all of a sudden, all those rocks are perfectly clean. And the gold is now down in the pan. All right? 